Hi, this is Makar and today I would like to talk about how Russians uh, steal Ukraine's art and how they attack Ukraine's identity too. So, let's start. Russian forces have looted uh, tens of thousands of pieces, including avant uh, avant-garde oil painting and uh, uh, Sinian gold. Uh, experts say it's the biggest art heights uh, since the Nazis uh, in World War II, intended to strip Ukraine of its cultural uh, heritage. One morning in the late October in Kherson, uh, Russian forces uh, blocked off a street in uh, downtown Kherson and surrounded a graceful old building with dozens of soldiers. Five large trucks pulled up, so did a line of military vehicles, preparing Russian agents to fill in uh, through several doors. It was a carefully planned, highly organized, military-style assault on the Art Museum. Over the next four days, the Kherson Regional Art Museum was cleaned out, witness said. With Russian forces bustling about like insects, porters wheeling uh, out thousands of paintings, soldiers uh, hastily, hastily wrapping them in sheets, are experts barking out orders and packing materials um, flying everywhere. They were loading such uh, masterpieces, which uh, there are no more in the world as if they were garbage, said the museum longtime director Alina Dotsenko, who recently returned from exile, recounting what uh, employees in and witness has told her. When she came back to the museum in early November and grasped how uh, much had been stolen, she said, I almost lost my mind. As Russia has ravaged Ukraine with deadly missile, st missile strikes and brutal atro uh, atrocities on civilians, it has also looted uh, the nation's cultural in uh, institutions of some of the uh, most important and intensely protected contributions of Ukraine and its forebears, uh, forebears going back thousands of years. International art experts say uh, the plund plundering may be the single biggest collective art hides since the Nazis uh, pillaged Europe in World War II. In Kherson, in Ukraine's south, Ukrainian prosecutors and museum administrators say the Russians stole more than 15,000 pieces of uh, fine art and one-of-a-kind artifacts. They dragged bronze statues from parks, lifted books from the uh, Riverside Scientific Libraries, box up the uh, crumbling 200-year-old bones of Grigory Potemkin, um, Catherine the Great Lovers, uh, lover, and uh, even stole a raccoon from the zoo, leaving behind a trail of vacant cages, empty uh, pedestals, and smashed glass. Ukrainian officials say the Russian forces um, have robbed or damaged more than 30 museums, including several in Kherson, which was retaken in November, and others in Mariupol and Melitopol, which remain under Russian occupation. With Ukrainian investigators still cataloging the losses of missing oil paintings, ancient steles, bronze pots, coins, necklaces, and busts, the number of reports stolen items is likely to grow. The plundering is hardly a case of random or opportunistic misbehavior by uh, a few ill-behaved troops, Ukrainian officials and international experts say or even a desire to turn a quick profit on the black market. Instead, they believe the uh, theft are a broadside attack on Ukrainian pride, culture uh, and identity, consistent with the imperial attitude of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who has constantly belied, uh, belittled the idea of Ukraine as a separate nation and used that um, as a central rationale of his invasion. It's not like one soldier putting a silver uh, fork in his rucksack, uh, said James Rad uh, Radcliffe, a general counsel of the Art uh, Loss Register, a London-based organization that traces stolen art. This is a far, far larger scale. At one museum in Militopol, a southern city that the Russians seized in the first days of the war witnesses, said that uh, a mysterious man in a white lab coat uh, had arrived to carefully extract uh, with gloves and tweezers the most valuable object from the collection, including gold pieces from the uh, Sinian Empire, crafted 2300 years ago. 
As he lifted out the uh, priceless antiques, a squad of Russian soldiers stood firmly behind him in case anyone should try to stop him. In each case of looting, witnesses, including caretakers, security guards, and other museum employees, who said that they have been pressured to uh, or forced to help, reported a central controlled uh, expert led operation. Shocked is not the word. I am furious, Alexander Tkachenko, Ukraine's cultural. Uh, Culture Minister said in a broadcast interview as he toured uh, the Ludwig Herson Art Museum, visibly upset. If they stole our heritage, they believed that we wouldn't continue to live and to create, but we will. The Ukrainians have a lot of uh, battles on their hands. Towns in the east like Bakhmut are being pum pummeled. Drones swarm con swarms continue to take uh, out critical infrastructure plunging thousands into the dark. Vast swaths of territory in the south and east remain occupied, and one out of three Ukrainians have been forced to flee from home. But even with the war raging, a group of Ukrainian lawyers and art experts are working day and night to collect evidence for what they hope will be future prosecutions of cultural crimes. From dimly lit officer, uh, offices in frosty buildings with no power or heat Wearing gloves and uh, woolly hats indoors, they make meticulous lists of missing objects, come through museum records and try to identify potential witnesses and local collaborators who might have helped the Russians steal. The Ukrainians are also working with international art organizations like the Art Loss Read Register to track the looted pieces. Everyone in the art market is on the red alert to took out for this material, Mr. Radcliffe said. Every action house that see, uh, sees materials from Ukraine is going to start asking a lot of questions. Here, his organization, he said, has al uh, already registered more than 2,000 items from Ukraine believed to have been stolen in, uh, and other at risk, including paintings from Kherson Art Museum and Stinian gold from Melitopol. The Ukrainians accuse uh, the Russians of breaking international uh, treaties that outlaw art looting such as 1954 Convention for the Protection of Cultural Property in the event of armed conflict. Created in the wake of World War II, the treaty calls for signatories to prohibit, prevent, and even necessary, put a stop to any form of theft a cultural property, of the cultural property. Both Ukraine and Russia signed it. But the Russians have flipped the narrative and presented their actions not as a theft but liberation. Don't panic, said Kirill Stremousov, Kherson Russia installed deputy administrator when he explained in October what had happened uh, to the statues that disappeared from Kherson. He said that when the uh, fighting stopped, the monuments would uh, definitely return and that everything w uh, was being done for the uh, benefit of preserving the historical heritage of the city of Kherson. The statues have be uh, yet not been returned. And a few weeks later, just as Ukrainian troops were liberating Kherson, Mr. Mr. Stremaruso was killed in a suspicious car crash. Many of the paintings looted from Kherson Art Museum, including beloved classics like Piquet of the Bank of the River Sunset uh, by the miniaturist Ivan Pokutonov and Autumn Time by Georgi Kurnakov, recently showed up at the museum in Crimea the Black Sea Peninsula that Russia snatched from Ukraine in 2014. The director of the museum, Andrei Malgulin, offered a familiar rationale. We have 10,000 pieces and we are inventorying them, he told a Spanish newspaper, El País. He said his museum was keeping a collection for its own protection. Russian soldiers similarly displayed a four-legged booty they have had liberated from the Kherson Zoo. In videos that went viral everywhere, uh, paratroopers declared that the stolen raccoon was now their mascot, traveling with them along the front, and had been named Kherson. That led to a popular meme uh, on the Ukrainian internet, saving private raccoon. This is hardly the first time that Russia uh, has uh, interfered with Ukrainian art or culture. For hundreds of years, during Imperial Russia, and then in, 20, uh, in the 20th century, during Soviet times, Moscow constantly tried to su uh, suppress the Ukrainian language, 
and anything that would bolst, uh, bolster Ukrainian identity. After Russia grabbed Crimea, Inter, uh, Interpol, the International Police Organization, said that it was searching for 52 paintings by Ukrainian artists that had been illegally transferred to an art museum in Simferopol, Crimea's second largest city in March 2014. So, this time, when uh, war erupted in February, Ukrainian officials were quick to wrap outdoor stadiums in uh, sheds of sandbags and move precious work uh, of art into underground walls. But the Russians were not uh, so easily deterred. In Melitopol, Russian soldiers kidnapped an art museum director and the caretaker uh, and eventually found the Sinian gold hidden in the uh, cardboard boxes uh, in the cellar. In Kherson, after Mrs. Uh, Dotsenko fled uh, for Kyiv, pro-Russia collaborators took uh, over uh, the art museum. Ukrainian officials said that in August a well-dressed delegation from Crimean museums had arrived to scout, uh, scout out uh, the goods. But they didn't have much time. Ukrainian forces pressed in from three sides. By October, Russia's hold on Kherson was unraveling faster than anyone expected. At the art museum, Russian agents rushed to get everything out as fast as possible. The removal took place with uh, participation of museum specialists, but with gross violation of the transportation and packaging uh, of the works, said Vitaly Titich, the Ukrainian lawyer who is a part of the special military unit documenting war crimes against the cultural heritage of Ukraine. Paintings were taken out of the frames in a hurry, frames were broken, cultural objects were also damaged or destroyed. Many works, he lamented, will be lost. Touring Kherson museums now is depressing. Virtually all of the thousands of oil paintings that had been stowed in the art museum basements and the computer records documenting them are gone. I am the daughter of the officer who raised me to be strong, but I cried for two weeks, said Ms. Dotsenko, uh, who had worked at the art museum for 45 years. No. She corrected herself. I didn't cry. I sobbed. I beat the walls. I gnawed. Across the street at the Kherson Museum of Local Lore, uh, there is a one shattered display case after another. Deep gouges have been cut into the floor from soldiers, dragging out centuries-old artifacts. Sometimes they didn't succeed. Denis Sikosa, an inspector of the cultural objects of the Kherson government, stood in front of the remains of a delicate glass cup from the 5th century, staring at the sheds. The brokers trying to steal it, he said quietly, and there was only one like it.